All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh by Hashem Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all your hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother, and now by Ayasha, the Jim S. Indianapolis camp, coming with another episode of Get Your Mind Right. Today we're going to be dealing with we have enemies all around us. See what I'm saying? Because in this truth, you're going to have enemies. Being an Israelite, period, you have enemies. You have enemies even of your own household. You know what I'm saying? And that's twofold, meaning your wife and kids and also they just in the faith. You know what I'm saying? Those that know that they Israelites. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by in the faith is you have people out here that know they Israelites out here teaching false doctrine and they coming against the real men of the Lord, man. See what I'm saying? That's what I mean by in the faith. You get what I'm saying? Also, we got enemies. We being attacked by who? Our enemies, which are the heathens of these other nations, starting off with this white man. You know what I'm saying? The white man, the Arabs, you know what I'm saying? The, the Chinese, Japanese, the Africans. See what I'm saying? The Hawaiians. We have enemies all around us, man. Every day we, we uh, sleep and breathe. We go about our being. We dealing with what? Enemies, man. See what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai had enemies. You see what I'm saying? He had enemies from what? The Romans. He had enemies from other heathens. And he also had enemies from who? Israel. It's the same thing with us, man. Like it tells us in Sirach 2 and 1. My son, when thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for what? Temptation. Meaning what? The hell that we're going to catch, man. I mean, from, from all sides. You know what I'm saying? Man, everywhere we go, we got enemies. We go to the grocery store, you got people looking at y'all strange. There ain't no more demonic spirits, man, looking at you. Some of them recognize who you, who you was from the past. See what I'm saying? So we got enemies where? On all sides, man. There's no escaping this. You know what I'm saying? Satan is, is, had a, has, has led an all-out attack and war against who? The men of your house by shot. <coughs> See what I'm saying? So we face with enemies all around us, man. This is Psalms chapter 25, verse, uh, I'm going to start at verse 17. It said, the troubles of my heart are enlarged, meaning what? The troubles of my mind. The troubles of all our minds are what? Enlarged. See what I'm saying? Because why? We suffer mental affliction as well as physical affliction on a day-to-day -day basis, man. We suffer mental affliction more than we do physical, daily. Even though some of us have physical ailments, but mainly the real ailment we battle with is what? In our minds, man. It said, the troubles of my heart are enlarged, meaning our mind. Oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. That's what we're praying to you. How about Shem Shai? Deliver us out of this hell, man. Deliver us out of this, this turmoil that we go through, man. It said, uh, verse 18, look upon mine affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins, because we hey, we supposed to go to the Lord with what? Prayer and supplication, meaning what? Earnestly begging the Lord to forgive us of our sins. You get what I'm saying? So it says, uh, consider mine enemies, for they are many. For all you out there that are saying that the Lord, that we don't have enemies, you're a liar. The scripture just said, consider mine enemies, for they are many. Meaning what? We don't have just one or two enemies. We have many enemies. So, sometimes your enemies may be of your own family, man. Your own blood. See what I'm saying? Become enemies to you. Why? Because you're in this truth. You get what I'm saying? Just like it, uh, just like it tell you in Galatians. Matter of fact, I get it right quick. This is uh, Galatians chapter 4 and verse, uh, 16, it said, uh, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? See, the truth hurts, man. It don't hurt the ones that, that, that love the truth, that know the truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes we get rebuked and esteemed, but it don't hurt. Because why? That's what keeps us on that straight and narrow. That's what keeps us on that right path, man. See what I'm saying? Back in Psalms, chapter 25, verse 19, it said, Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. That's right. All our enemies hate us with cruel hatred. With some of them ways, what? Child support. See what I'm saying? Uh, speeding tickets. You see what I'm saying? 
What else? Uh, paying fines, any type of fine. Ugh. A bug on me. Any type of fine. That's an example of uh, that's an example of what? Cruel hatred. See what I'm saying? It was a spider on me. <laughs> See, that was an enemy. Satan trying to send a spider on me. See what I'm saying? That's what? Cruel hatred, man. Why? Why? Because I'm out here telling the truth, man. I'm, a, I'm an enemy to Satan because I'm out here telling the truth. See what I'm saying? That's cruel hatred, man. Sending pestilences, diseases. That's cruel hatred, man. Locking people up, man. Innocent people just to, just to make a case. For a detective, just so a, per, a cop could make detective, he'll plant false evidence on a Jake, on an Israelite, <coughs> on a, a Negro, Latino, Native American. That's cruel hatred. Passing laws to further oppress you Negro, Latino, Native American. That's cruel hatred, man. See what I'm saying? So, like the scriptures say, Psalms 25, a Psalm of King David, it said, Consider mine enemies, for they are many. And they hate me with cruel hatred. See what I'm saying? Because what is cruel hatred? Making laws to, to make you a target here in this society, man. See what I'm saying? They further making laws. Matter of fact, i get that right quick. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe meaning destruction and death unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. What's the unrighteous decree? Like we said through the spirit, child support. See what I'm saying? What else? Oh, paying light water and gas bills. That's an unrighteous decree. These are things that's from the earth. It's supposed to be free, man. Food is from the earth. That's supposed to be free. That's cruel hatred to, to, to tax us on, on something that grows up out the ground. That you how about shit me shot put here for us. Because like I said in the Ezra's, the earth was made for our sakes. So how the hell are you going to take something that belongs to us and charge us taxes for it? That's cruel hatred, man. See what I'm saying? To, to sit there and, and lock people up uh, in concentration camp, to separate them from their family, that's cruel hatred, man. See what I'm saying? So we have enemies all around us, man. Everywhere we look, man. Not only is it these heathens starting off with this white man, but it's also people of our own nation, Negro, Latino, Native American. They come against us with cruel hatred when we out there on the highways and byways. F you, man. I go get my gat and I'll kill you. I'll smoke you, fool. That's cruel hatred, man. See what I'm saying? You guys are false prophets. I'm going to kill y'all. That's cruel hatred, man. You see what I'm saying? Y'all not men of the Lord. My pastor, Reverend Duron, he's a man of the Lord. That's cruel hatred. When we're trying to tell you that you're the Lord's chosen people, that you're the greatest people on this earth, but then you turn around and curse us and spit upon us, try to attack us, that's cruel hatred. Why? Because we're enemies to you. Why? Because we're standing up for righteousness in the midst of this dark world, man. And you hate us for that, man. Therefore, we have enemies all around us. Everywhere you look, even your wife. Matter of fact, let me get there right quick. Let me get there right quick. This is uh, Micah. Micah chapter 7 verse 10 says, Micah 7 and 10, Then she that is mine enemy shall see it. And who is that? Starting off, the black woman. Then the Native American woman. Then the Latino woman. Then you got the white woman. The Arab woman. The African woman. The, the uh, Chinese and Japanese women. Then you got the Hawaiian women. You see what I'm saying? All these nations of people, even including our own people, it says, then she that is my enemy shall see it. See what? Their destruction is about to take place, man. Her downfall, that's what she going to see when the Lord come and destroy America, a.k.a. Babylon. It says, and shame shall cover her, which saith unto me, where is the Lord of that power? Yeah, where is your Lord? Who? Where is this Yehawashai you call upon? You women going to see it, especially you black women, man. Yeah, you kind of know Yehawashai. He ain't doing nothing for you. You still struggling and poor. 
Yeah, you're going to see it. Shame going to cover you, man. When the Lord come and crack this guy, a lot of you women going to get humbled, man. The Lord is, is going to allow a lot of you women to get ravished, meaning rape, beat up and beat down. It said, uh, it said, where is the Lord? The, the said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? Yeah, where is your God at now? Your light bill can't get paid. Where is your God at now? Oh, cry to your house with shy. Yeah, you're going to see it. You're going to pay, man. It says, yeah, you going to camp every weekend for what? You still struggling. That's what a lot of you women say to the men of the Lord out here, man. And guess what? You will see it. You will be shamed. And it said, mine eyes shall behold her. Now she shall be trodden down as the mire of the street. So the Lord's going to allow you to get stomped out. You see what I'm saying? You're going to get stomped out out here in the street. This, that's symbolic for you getting put to death, man. When, when Jacob's trouble hit and, and martial law hit, guess what? You're going to get stomped out in these streets, man, for all your pride and arrogancy and, and talking against the men of the Lord. A lot of you women out here, you're very disrespectful to the men of the Lord. See what I'm saying? You, you stepping out of, out of your place. You stepping out of bounds. See what I'm saying? You're not even supposed to be talking to a man of the Lord. You're not supposed to be talking to another man, period. But a lot of you women going to see it. You know what I'm saying? You're going you to see it. When all hell break loose, you're going to see. Then it's going to be too late. A lot of y'all ain't going to make it, man. Mm -mm. Y'all not going to make it. You got too much pride to repent. See what I'm saying? A lot of y'all be bucking on against your man. Be talking all crazy in his face. You coward. You punk. You ain't going to do nothing to me. I'll call the police on you. Yeah. Like I said, then she, that is my enemy, shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? Call on your God now. Yeah, nigga, you about to go to jail. That's what you get putting your hands on me. Knowing you lying. He ain't put his hands on you. All he did was tell you about yourself, and it cut you so deep, you went to call the police. Why? Because you, hey, you got cut through the spirit. And then two, you want to be with uh, Ray Ray down the street. You see what I'm saying? Or, or PJ at your job. See what I'm saying? A lot of you women, man, come in the door to you on the low. And you will be exposed and the Lord is going to stomp you out, man. See what I'm saying? As men of the Lord, like I said through the Spirit, we got enemies all around us, man. Even on our job. Your boss may get to harassing you. You catch them peeking behind doors and corners watching you. For no reason, you ain't give no reason to be suspicious about you. You come to work every day doing your job. You got people lying on you now. See what I'm saying? Coming against you. Why? Because you're a man of the Lord. <clears throat> they mad because you don't participate in their foolishness at work. They be sitting there gossiping, spreading rumors, lying. <coughs> <coughs> See what I'm saying? And they mad because you don't participate. Niggas be talking about, yeah, man, I wouldn't mind giving with that little piece of ass right there. I know Daryl, I know, I know Daryl, that's his wife, but man, I don't care. I got to hit that. So you be pushing up on Daryl's wife at work. See what I'm saying? Guess what? You're going to die. But then when the men Lord say, hey, man, you shouldn't do that. That ain't right. Oh, fuck you, nigga. You ain't shit, nigga. See what I'm saying, nigga? Do you know who I am, nigga? I'm OG Bluetooth, nigga. From Sweetwater Pyro Blood Gang, nigga. 4,500 block, nigga. See what I'm saying? You're going to die, man. See what I'm saying? Now you become an enemy to the man of the Lord. All they try to do is tell you, hey, bro, that ain't right. You shouldn't do that. Nigga, fuck you. See what I'm saying? You're going to die. That's what we have to go through in this in this good fight of faith, man. We dealing with the elements out here. That's why, you, man, that's why the Lord going to put that coalition of, of false uh, preachers that was with Donald Trump. They're going to put them to death. Why? Because they're not telling people the truth, man. they scared to be for the world to hate them. they scared to be an enemy to the world. Well, as a man of the Lord, you're going to be an enemy to the world. See what I'm saying? Next, uh, next scripture is going to be uh, Matthew 23. It's Matthew 23, verse... Uh, 37. This is Matthew 23 and 37. It says, uh, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, 
Who is Yahweh Shah talking to? Because it's written in red. He's talking to who? You Israelites, man. You Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. He said, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets. A lot of y'all, y'all not killing us physically, even though some of y'all would love to kill us physically. You know what I'm saying? You, you bucking up and coming against us, but you but, but how is you killing the prophets? You killing them spiritually, man. Starting with what? You false teachers, man. You false prophets. You see what I'm saying? You, you're doing what? Coming up against what? The apostles. Our elders. Even us up, up and coming elders, man. You, 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 you trying to kill us spiritually, man. If you had it your way to kill us physically, you could, you would. It says, uh, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee, because why? You hate the words that we bring to you, man. We bring you what? The words of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. Matter of fact, get this scripture right quick. One of my favorite scriptures, man. Hebrews 4 and 12, it said, uh, For the word of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, meaning of the mind. So when we tell you, thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, it cuts you so deep you get angry and want to kill us, man. See what I'm saying? Oh, this is Matthew uh, 23 and 37. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them, which are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. Meaning what? You don't have the, the spirit of Yahweh Shai dwelling in your abode, in your house. See what I'm saying? Because why? You reject the words of Yahweh Shai. You're rejecting the Lord's men. So what? You've become an enemy to us, man. See what I'm saying? It said, For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. So the Lord is telling you, you, you won't receive the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh until you repent. See what I'm saying? A lot of y'all have too much pride to go out here and repent, man. You're not going to repent. Therefore, you should die in your iniquity. You should die in your unbelief, man. Like the scripture tell you in, uh, in Ezra, all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness, man. Because why? You become an enemy to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and you become an enemy to the Lord's men, man. Everywhere you turn, man, we got enemies all around us, bro. You see what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't no man in this truth that doesn't have any enemies. If you don't have any enemies, that means you're not in the right truth, man. That means the Lord might not be dealing with you. If you're not being, being a, a, attacked by your own household or attacked by people on your job or a, a, attacked by people in general in your everyday life, Satan sending people to uh, uh, up against you to try and piss you off, well, hey, the Lord might not be dealing with you, man. See what I'm saying? Because we suffer every day, like it tells us back in Psalms once again. We're going to read that again in Psalms. Where is it? This is Psalms 25. It said, uh, 25 and 17. It said, the troubles of my heart, meaning my mind, are enlarged. What it means something is enlarged, it means getting bigger and bigger and bigger, greater and greater. It says, uh, oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. We're distressed every day. You know what I'm saying? We thank the Lord for our daily bread, but still, sometimes we get uh, too close for comfort. Like, oh, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to pay this bill. See what I'm saying? Lord, please help me, man. You know, the due date is tomorrow, and I'm short $20, Lord. Help me, Lord. See what I'm saying? But the Lord always make a way every time, man. The scripture tell you, he's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Who is the ones that diligently trying to seek you out by a shimmy out of shot? The hopeful elect. Lord willing, I'm one of those men, man. See what I'm saying? But we're faced with enemies all around us, man. That's how you know that church doctrine is done. Because why? 
They don't want enemies. They want to be loved by everybody, man. Not in this truth. Now, when you come dealing with your how by Shimmy Abba Shot, you're going to have enemies, man. That's part of the game. You got to deal with it, man. That's part of serving your how by Shimmy Abba Shot, man. It said, he that cannot uh, take up his cross and bear it cannot be my disciple. Meaning what? If you can't deal with, with dealing with enemies, being attacked by enemies, and deal with it and stay in this fight, well, hey, the Lord ain't with you, man. That's why a lot of you fall out the faith. You fall out this truth. See what I'm saying? Why? Because you get tired of dealing with enemies, man. You want to be liked by everybody. You want to be Mr. Popular, like Nate doing that march in Memphis. You want to be Mr. Popular. You don't want to be hated by nobody, man. You know what? Through the spirit, I love being an underdog, man, in this society, man. So when it all goes down and you how about Shimmy Abba Shah come and deliver us, guess what? We're going to have the last laugh. This is Matthew chapter uh, chapter 10, verse 36. Matthew 10 and 36 says, And a man's foes, meaning enemies, that's what a foe is, your enemy. A man's foes, well, I'm going to start at verse uh, 34. Salakia. This is Matthew 10 and 34. It says, Think not. What? Well, verse 33. What? Well, verse 32. Matthew 10 and 32. It says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. It says, But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. How do you deny the Lord? Marching against violence in the, in the community. See what I'm saying? You denying the power you have by Shimon was shot. That's the Lord that's killing these people, man. That's part of the curses, man. Your eyes shall be evil toward your brother. That's part of the curses. But you marching against it saying, no, Lord, your judgment is not good enough. That's basically what you said when you go against the Lord's judgment, against his word by what? Setting up a march, a publicity stunt. So you could be that dude or that guy or that Israelite group. We don't care about publicity, man. Our job is to preach the word, man. Instant, in season and out of season. We're trying to see mercy and salvation from you. How about Shimei Abishai? This is our reasonable duty, man, to go out here and teach this word, man. So, so we in captivity. So how, I, like, I, like I said before in the past, man, I've never seen nobody in jail trying to uh, be a super duper inmate. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen nobody, well, I, I take the back, I have seen them do a, be a super duper inmate, but I've never seen an inmate trying to receive a reward. Man, that's your job. You in jail, you in captivity. You supposed to do what the deputy tell you to do. You supposed, if, you, if they put you on work detail, guess what, you got to go out there and do work detail. You got to cut yard, you got to cut yard. You don't cut the yard, I'm like, hey, Hey, deputy, uh, can I get $20 for cutting this yard? No, that's your job. You're supposed to do that. You, you're paying off your debts to society. You're a slave. You're in captivity. You see what I'm saying? That's your job, man. Same thing with this truth, man. Yeah, the Lord may bless us here and there, but we don't go to the, hey, Lord, hey, since I went out there and preached your word, can I get a, a million dollars? No, man, that's your job to go out there and preach the word. Yeah, the Lord look out for us here and there. You know what I'm saying? He always going to take care of us, but we in captivity. Why? This is part of our punishment because we disobeyed the Heavenly Father. That's why we have enemies all around us. We were once the greatest nation on the planet. Now look at us because of our disobedience and rebellion. Now we're at the bottom of the barrel trying to climb our way back up, man. And, and when you have a shot come and deliver us out of the hellhole, guess what? We're going to be back on top again. See what I'm saying? But we got to endure. We got to deal with our enemies all around us, bro. Teaching this truth, man. It said, uh, think not. It said, yeah, think not. This is Matthew uh, 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Meaning what? The Lord is coming with what? Destruction. For what? The enemies. The enemies to him and the enemies to his brother, man. See what I'm saying? It says, uh, for I am come to set a man at variance against his father. That's being an enemy right there. 
It said, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. That's twofold, meaning what? In your household at home with your wife and kids, and also in the household of Israel, man. We got enemies, man, all around us, man. Of the heathen nation, starting out with this white man, because he's trying to kill us on a day-to-day -day basis with chemtrails, poisonous food, gunning our people down in the street, passing unrighteous laws and decrees. And then also we got Israel out here teaching false doctrine, leading our people to get slaughtered by Esau, the so-called white man. Those are our foes of our own household, man, the house of Israel, man. Remember the scripture tells us that judgment must begin at the Lord's sanctuary, which is what? The house of Israel, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. See what I'm saying? So ain't no way in the world you're going to be in this truth and not have enemies, man. You don't have no enemies, that means the Lord might not be dealing with you, man. See what I'm saying? So with that, hope this video was edifying, man, and brothers, be aware. You got enemies all around you. That's why it's very important to pray, man, because Satan send people across your path all the time to piss you off. Whether you're in traffic, at the grocery store, at work, at home, whatever the case may be, we got enemies all around us, man. That's why we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and His mercy and grace and salvation, man. See what I'm saying? So with that, Shalom.